Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We have done many videos on Nicola Sturgeon, a lot of which have been on her mad obsession with allowing deluded men the right to consider themselves as women, but worse, trying to foist that delusion on everyone else so that we have to go along with it. I, this channel, the vast proportion of my viewers, indeed 99% of the world at large, disagree with this position. They reject it and they say no, because we do not want to endanger women and children. We do not want dangerous men in women's safe spaces. But it isn't just this channel. After two terrible car crash interviews this week where she completely failed to get her point across and where she was con contradictory completely on her position because after saying trans women are women, she's now saying, oh well, except in certain circumstances like when they're going to prison because she's trying to backpedal the awful backlash she's had. But other people are now also starting to ridicule her. Is the shine coming off the Empress of the Highlands crown? Will she soon fall? won't be, um, I don't think she'll resign. I think she will be pushed. There's no jumping in Nicola because let's face it, it's, she's, she, if she's not actually, she's very, very reminiscent of a complete and utter psychopath because she does not care for anyone other than Nicola Sturgeon's greater glory. Well, she hasn't got any because everything she touches turns to crap. Anyway, let's look at these two little articles uh, and we'll see who is ridiculing Nicola and it isn't me. Here goes. Right, so the first um, sort of fellow traveller, as it were, in uh, joining me on the Let's Ridicule Sturgeon bus uh, is Julia Hartley Brewer, TV sort of presenter and uh, journalist, um, columnist, that sort of thing. Uh, but she was on there and um, she was taking um, a pot shot at Sturgeon with her um, assessment about, oh, we must do um, risk assessments before putting men into women's prisons. Anyway, uh, Julia Hartley Brewer responded, uh, looking at the headline, you don't need a risk assessment, just look down his pants. Talk TV's Julia Hartley Brewer in a furious clash with Liberal Democrat MP Christine Jardine as she tries to defend Nicola Sturgeon's chaotic trans prisoner stance because of course the Liberal Democrats are going to be all for this. Uh, they're trying their best to be the woke party uh, of the of the year. I mean, they are absolutely a bunch of soy animated, limp-wristed, tree-hugging, anti-humanitarian wimps. They hate everything. They hate everybody. Um, they, they think that anyone who's got anything about them, anyone who's got a, a spark of intelligence is a danger. Uh, and they, you can just tell by looking at them uh, exactly the kind of people they are. Uh, so it comes as no surprise that they too will go along with putting uh, these aggressive men into small rooms with women because the man says he's deluded enough to think he's a woman. Um, and then when these women are attacked, are awed, um or even caged, emmed, you know, ended, um, it won't be the fault of the Liberal Democrats, uh, even though they're the ones who are saying that this should happen. It'll be oh, but a terrible indictment of our prison service. No. No, it's, it's wankers like you who push for this sort of thing. Uh, anyway, Liberal Democrat MP Christine Jardine was involved in a furious clash today after she praised Nicola Sturgeon amid the row over transgender prisoners in Scotland. So here you have, like I say, a Lib Dem woman saying it's acceptable to put a dangerous man in a room with a woman and lock them in uh, and not to safeguard the woman. Well done. That is who you get when you vote Liberal Democrat. Anyway, I'm not going through the whole piece, uh, but we will just get to this. Uh, challenging the politician, the talk TV presenter Julia Hartley Brewer insisted it was not a complicated issue. Uh, you don't need to do a risk assessment, just look down his pants, the broadcaster told Miss Jardine in a heated exchange. Uh, Miss Sturgeon has come under severe pressure over the cases of two transgender prisoners, Tiffany Scott and Isla Bryson. Isla Bryson, a man who is the multiple aura of women and who they wanted to lock in a room with women. Uh, and Tiffany Scott, who is a mass P, uh, an absolute danger to, again, females, young females, um, should we say vulnerable young females, just the sort of 19, 20 year olds that would be locked up. Uh, but he went after 13 year old girls 
So if there's any young looking 13 year old girls locked up, he's your man locking him in a room with them. Well done to anyone who votes for the SNP or anyone who votes for the Lib Dems because that's their politics. Screw you. If you're a woman, tough shit. We don't care. We ri we're actively passing laws, actively passing laws that will endanger women. Uh, anyway, that's there. So she is now jumping on. This is Julie Hartley Brewer. Is now jumping on and saying, this is ridiculous. And there's Sturgeon going, oh, we can do risk assessments. And Hartley Brewer saying, no need. Just look down the front of his trousers because if there's a cock there, he goes into a man's jail. And that's it. And I quite agree. Now, that was number one. Number two is, of course, this is an ongoing um, feud, if we will, between uh, the little gnome um, and... One woman who um, bravely stands up and fights for the rights of women because she has a voice and she will not be cowed. She will not be cowed by men. She will not be cowed by politicians. She will not be cowed by other women who are acting against their own best interest. She is standing up for all women uh, and I then this channel salute her and have done so since the uh, the very beginning of this channel. Uh, and that woman, of course, is J.K. Rowling. And we're going to cut across here to a tweet that she made. And now this, she she responded in this tweet um, because people were sort of saying about, oh, how terrible she is. She's a turf. Um, you know, she's not standing up for the rights of these people. Um, but this is all to do with um, with the people that Sturgeon wants to put in prison with women. And J.K. Rowling thinks it's wrong. So I'm going to quote her. J.K. Rowling tweeted this. Deeply amused by those telling me I've lost their admiration due to the disrespect I show. I can't say that word. Violins. Duplicitists. Arists. You can read the words. I shall file your lost admiration carefully in the box where I keep my missing fucks. Because apparently she's all out. She's, she's lost a lot of fucks. Uh, and apparently she has no more fucks to give. So uh, well done to J.K. Rowling. Now, um, a lot of people will moan and bitch about this because they are inadequate human beings. Uh, but she is uh, standing up for the rights of women. And I salute her. And I hope all you lot salute her too. Especially if you're a woman because no one else is. No one else is looking up for your rights. No one in public. I am. There are people out there. But we're nobodies. We're just a voice. We're just a, we're, we're a non-entity. Rowling is a somebody and she is standing up. And uh, I stand with her and for all that she's attempting to do. So there we go. I'm going to finish there and come up. So all in all, uh, more and more people are seeing Sturgeon for what she is and are calling her out and criticising. Um, it's becoming a rolling theme now and it can only be a matter of a few, I think a few short weeks possibly. Uh, months at most um i certainly think by the summer i'll make a prediction we're sitting here uh, and at the time of filming this it's the end of january it's the very last day of january uh, and i think end of may i'm going to make end of may she will have gone she will have carried on um she'll drag it out as much as she can but she'll have gone by the end of may because all her chickens are coming home to roost everything that she's done that is wrong Sorry, let me rephrase that. Everything she has done, because everything she has done is wrong. So everything she has done, which is falling apart, which is destroying the future of Scotland, which is destroying the lives of people who live in Scotland, that will have a price. Um, and the reckoning, I think, is coming. And I think the reckoning will be her job and her reputation. Um, well, she hasn't got much of a reputation, but it will destroy her in her mind. And so that's no, that's no bad thing. Maybe, you know, bring her down a peg or three. But, um, you know, it, my, my worry, of course, is who the hell will I have to talk about next? She has been good for this channel. Uh, because, you know, that's how things go, isn't it? You pick a subject and, my God, you could run with this. But until she goes, I am keeping a very, very close eye on her. But on a close, I'm keeping a close eye on the SNP in general. Because if you've got to think that she was the best leader that they could come up with, my God... Who's going to be next? Dear heavens, it doesn't bear thinking about. Anyway, I shall round there. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, do hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell for notification of future outputs. Leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video. And until next time, 
Stay safe. Stay well. Don't vote SNP. They'll force crap down your throats. And goodbye.